Hey everyone, welcome back to Zell, your trusted guide for global finance certifications. Now, if you're sitting for FRM part one, this video is for you. We're going to walk you through section-wise tips to help you handle the most common traps, time management challenges, and confusing phrasing that candidates face during the actual exam. So let's jump right in. Foundations for risk management. Read the final question line first. It often asks about a risk type, governance step, or principle. This gives you a lens while reading. Look for risk manager mindset options. Pick choices that reflect conservatism, accountability, and transparent communication. Basel-based questions. Identify the pillar and link keywords like capital, supervision, disclosure. Most traps mix them up. Quantitative analysis. Calculator fluency is essential. Know how to quickly compute SD, correlation, time value of money, and net present value. Hypothesis testing logic. If P is lesser than alpha, reject the null. Confidence intervals is here on the screen. Do not overcomplicate. Now, here are some of the more common traps. Sample versus population. Again, as you can see on the screen, confusing correlation with causation and reading too much into insignificant P values. Financial markets and products. Start every question by identifying the role. Is it long or short? Buyer or seller? Fixed or float? These determine everything else. Options logic. Buyer of a call is equal to the right to buy. Seller of a put is equal to the obligation to buy. Structured products, if it's a callable or a puttable, ask who benefits, investor or issuer. Forward futures pricing traps, watch for questions that give dividends or carrying costs and adjust the formula accordingly. Valuation and risk models, first identify the VAR approach, historical, variance, covariance or Monte Carlo. Each has a different treatment of assumptions for backtesting and model performance. Too many breaches lead to the underestimation of risk. Look for frequency versus expected VAR violations. Stress testing versus scenario analysis. Stress equals to extreme yet plausible. Scenario is more specific, story-driven changes. And here are some general tips for FRM part one on the exam day. If you're stuck, skip and come back. No penalty for wrong answers. Keep a quick formula sheet ready on your rough page before starting. And think like a risk manager. Go with the most ethical, cautious and principle-based answer when in doubt. So guys, FRM part one is all about laying a strong foundation and handling questions smartly on exam day can be the edge that helps you pass. If you found this breakdown useful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Zell for more exam day strategies and FRM specific prep tips. Drop your doubts in the comments. We are here to help you clear your FRM part one with confidence.